Hi, my name is Graham from Casio. Today, we're going to run you through the Bluetooth options that are provided by this little device, the WUBT10, which is compatible with our new Casio Tone products, CTS1, CTS400, and the LKS450. When this device is connected to these new products, it will provide you with Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth MIDI options. So let's take a look at exactly how this device works. First of all, make sure the instrument is turned off. Then we can insert the Bluetooth dongle into the USB to device port. Now we can turn the instrument on. And I can activate the Bluetooth on the settings on my mobile device. The factory preset is that the Bluetooth function is on as soon as the Bluetooth dongle is plugged in. But in order to establish the coupling with the tablet or the smartphone, I have to press function plus G sharp. And we can now hear a repeating signal, which signals that the connection to the device can be established. I'll then select WUBT10 audio and the signal icon indicates that the devices are now connected to one another. Now that the connection has been established, I can show you the most common Bluetooth function, and that's the audio playback. With the audio playback function, I can play along to the songs that are being transmitted from my device. So that means that I can hear the songs from my device playing through the built-in speakers and can easily play along to them. So now I'll switch to my audio player, and we can start playing the song. And the sound you're now hearing is coming from my device and is being played over the built-in speakers on the instrument. And we can now start to play along. And another really cool feature is that the CTS-1 can also be powered by batteries. So I have this function available to play anytime and anywhere. And there are even more uh, great Bluetooth audio functions available in our Cordana Play app. And these functions allow you to customize your practicing and your playing to make it a lot more interesting and a lot more fun for you. Okay, so let me close our audio app. We'll open the Cordana Play app to show you just some of the functions available. So we'll select audio mode. We can search through our songs. We'll select a song. We can start playback and we have the ability to slow or speed up the song. We also have the ability to lower or make the song higher. And we can even cancel the melody. So that's just some of uh, the ways that you can customize the settings. The audio function is by no means all that the Bluetooth dongle can enable. It also allows for the possibility of MIDI data transfer which opens up a whole world of possibilities with regards to composing, uh, the use of learning apps and so on. So really the possibilities are endless. So to activate the Bluetooth MIDI function, I go into the Cordana Play app via the lesson mode. We go into settings. We look for our MIDI device. We can then connect, wait on our connect confirmation. We're now connected. We come out of settings, we can then search for a song and as an example we'll use a reggae song in this case, OK, and we can start the playback. Now what you'll see is the app shows me the keys to play, we can also view the piano notes. If we stop that, that's already a cool feature. But what's also really cool is we have another fantastic function that can be used and it's called the score mode. So we go into our settings, we turn scoring on, we start our playback. And what's really cool here is when we try to play on the, the instrument, this will show when you're playing well and when you're making any errors, when you're pressing the wrong keys, which is another fantastic learning tool. Now with all of these functions, there's something important to note. The Bluetooth MIDI option must always be activated in the app itself and not just in the settings on your mobile device. 
that's really important. And of course, the Bluetooth MIDI option doesn't just function with our Cordana Play app. It also works with other apps that also enable Bluetooth MIDI option. Okay, so now I'll use my iPad to show you another example of a really well-known app that's also compatible with our MIDI Bluetooth function. So we go here, we open our app, we go into settings, we go into advanced, and then into Bluetooth MIDI devices. We then find our WUBT10, we connect the dongle, and that means we've now established a connection between the app and our instrument. So any playback we now make on the instrument will also be generated in the application, which is a really fantastic feature. So we've shown you some of the possibilities available over a couple of different apps, but you also have the opportunity to import external MIDI data files to the Cordana Play app. So really there are no limits to the playing and learning opportunities. So that's it for today. We really hope you enjoyed the video. We hope it was constructive and educational. And until next time, thank you very much.